Man, welcome to another show of analysis. I'm getting used to this, yeah? Don't know. Don't know. I'm getting used to that. Like, uh, podcasting is there. I'm there. I don't, I don't know if you want to call it podcasting or, or show, however you want to call it, but I'm there. I'm, I'm getting used to it, fellas. And it's all because of you. Because you guys encourage me every day to be better. You know, and I, and I, and I put a lot of work in my craft. And I, and I put a lot of love in everything I do, you know. But you guys have been supportive. You guys have been amazing. Let's keep it going. We recently had uh, the, the Super Bowl. And I know you you watched a couple NFL games in your career, yeah, but yeah. you know you, we're gonna get you on to football a little bit okay. next year. Super Bowl in New Orleans. Who do you want to see perform at halftime? Wow, who do I want to see perform? Oh, so the Super Bowl is New Orleans. So, so who do I want to see perform at the Super Bowl, New Orleans? Who do I want to see? Better not, boy. Quick, better not, boy. I want to see the Afro beat to the world. Everybody, you know, I, I think. Culture-wise, it's, it's changed everything. Uh, and I'm seeing like people who never did the Afrobeat uh, now like just j- has jumped to the sound and and the feeling just makes you feel, I don't know, just just different, you know? I listen to, I, I told you, I've listened to a lot, a lot of genre, genre of music. The only thing I haven't listened to, to be honest with you, is uh, Country, which George Hill uh, actually put me on some song. Shout out to George Hill. But um, so I'm, I'm going to start to. I'm going to start. I'm going to listen to Baseball season is quickly approaching. Can we uh, can we get you to throw out a first pitch for the Brewers this year? Oh my God! So throw throw a first pitch for the Brewers, Brew Crew. Let's go! Yes, I'm there. I don't. I, I mean, I don't know exactly how you how you throw it, but I'm assuming. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I can't throw it quite fast, but I just got to get get it there, right? I got to just get it on target. So, should be good. The NBA just announced some new rules for uh, cities to host the All Star Weekend. Tell us why Milwaukee should be hosting an NBA All Star Weekend. I have like so many of them. So I could just pull up. How many do you want? How many reasons do you want? Like it's, we deserve a, a, a All Star Weekend. Like I've been, it's my sixth year now. Milwaukee with the, with the fifth going to sixth with the, with the Bucks. Like man, the 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 amount of like what the the Bucks have done. The Milwaukee as a city, Wisconsin as a as a city has, has done for like the NBA as well. And not the you know not to put anybody out there. It's not the you know, it's not the versus anybody, anything like that. But I'm saying, like, it's a fact. Like, it's a team that went 50 years without winning and never even thought about relocating. Never even thought about, like, we're going to go somewhere else, eh? And stayed here. And we won. And and now, we're like, we have, like, two amazing great guys, uh, which is Giannis, Dame, and, like, a great crew. Like, we we deserve to have our start game. We have great teams. Green Bay. Uh, we have... Uh, but the Brew Crew, I call the Brew Crew, the Brewers. I, guys, like, we have to have an all-star here. Now, I understand the criteria for everybody is different, but I feel like there were cities who had the all-star. And all of a sudden, now it has to change. For who? For us? For us? Why? I don't understand. This is not, uh, you know, and, and again, I, I know that there's, uh, you know, you got to wait. You don't, you don't want to, always in life, you got to wait for your turn. That's how, that's my motto. And I was like, wait for my turn. But when it comes to this, I, I feel like we're very deserving of having the All-Star as a city and as a... Because I think, like, this is what the All-Star... This is what the All-Star does for cities. It changes the cities. He, he he gets them more involved in the NBA, you know, and he gets them more involved, not only in sports, but internationally. If you guys think that the All-Star is only watched in the U.S., you're wrong. It's watched all around the world. People stay up all night to watch and visit the, those cities, you know? So I want people from all around the world to visit Milwaukee. I want them to visit Milwaukee. They get to see like what, what do we do here, you know. And it's not just cold. It's it's some cool stuff that's going on here. That's why we love it here. That's why we like it here, you know. So that's it. For me. Uh, when the Bucks aren't playing at home, another team plays at Pfizer Marquette. Yeah. You've had teammates in the past who have gone mm-hmm. to Marquette. You got current teammate that uh, went West. To- I got my shout out to Wesley Matthews, my boy Iron Man. Shout out to Wesley Matthews, Jay Crowder. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it safe to say you are going to cheer for the Golden Eagles in the tournament? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna do that just because I love my and I love and I love like Milwaukee. Not because of Jay Crowder, not because of him. I've done enough for him. I've done enough for him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna just because like I want to see them do good, and it's great for the city, and it's, it's great for us to like. We want to like we. You know, this is all about. It's all about the camaraderie through sports and and everything. That's why, I, like, I love it when like the 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 team cities and team sports like do well. So, most definitely. Malik Frizzly. That's how we call him. 
Alex Tresli, yeah, man. You guys are uh, gonna have, gonna, 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 enjoy, gonna, gonna, you're gonna, gonna enjoy this guest. You're gonna love what he has to bring to the table and understand, you know, a little bit why more, why we do we love this guy so much. And he's gonna talk a little bit about shooting as well. So you guys get to learn. Hey, welcome to another episode of the Analysis Show. Man, you guys are amazing. You wanted like. I'm seeing the comments. I'm seeing everybody uh, interactions. Y'all want me to keep it going? I'm keep, hey, second season is hot right now. It's hot right hot, now. It's hot. It's hot. And there's nobody hotter than the guy next to me right now <laughs> in the NBA. You know? But uh, you know, guys, I got to give him the intro. Oh, but before I give him the intro, I want to say thank you to everybody that's supporting, to our sponsors. Thank you so much. Thank you to the people who come out every day, making this podcast even better. Make me, make me better as a podcaster. Because, you know, I, I'm definitely... As a rookie, I started as a rookie in this, but now I'm kind of building up to it. So thank you guys so much. And shout out, first of all, to the people in Brazil and stuff I see on like the downloads and people in Australia and Russia and everywhere. Like, you guys are amazing, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And let's get it. Wearing number five. <laughs> From the ATL, <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. The one and only... My league, the mutant, <laughs> Beasley. There you go. <laughs> I appreciate that, brother. Oh, appreciate well, I was it. Be, you know, some people call him Threesley. This man, this man is hot, man. I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> man, thank you so much for being here. Thank you wanted for having to, me, man. Uh, just wanted to just, you know, chop it up a little with you. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and... Shout out to the broadcast as well, to analysis broadcast beyond the game uh, on Instagram, sending the questions in. You know, it, what I did was, I, you know, I say, hey guys, I'm shooting yeah. with Malik. Yeah. Drop your questions. Man. I heard there were some crazy ones. Crazy, crazy, <laughs> some crazy ones, I man. Some crazy ones. You know, but I think that I, I, I love this interaction. The city of Milwaukee loves you, bro. We're, we're glad for you to have you here. Yes, sir. But uh, no, I want to, I want to, I wanna, I, the, first of all, the first question I want to ask is, you know, this is the first time that you are actually free agent, and you choose to come here yeah. to us. Now, I'm talking to you as a not as a teammate, only as a, as, as a fan. As a guy, uh, yeah, yeah, I was a guy from Wisconsin. Okay, as a guy right. from Milwaukee, just as a fan. Like you yeah. choose to come here, man. Yeah. How? How? What? Like what? What? Man, so I, I've been I've seen it all, man. I played with LeBron in LA. I uh, played with um, Joker and um, Jamal in Denver. Mm -hmm. um, I've been through new coaches, old coaches. Um, you know, I've seen it all. And um what I saw here was stability and um a family type of vibe. And I wanted that. I wanted that for my own family. I wanted that for myself, uh, to become a better player. You know, you got a lot of vets on the team, Giannis, um, and also uh Chris Middleton, who's my locker buddy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so uh I wanted um I wanted more veteran presence in my life, you know. For the most part, I've usually been the veteran on the teams I've been on um, or that middle guy. And uh, I just wanted to sit back, work on my game, um, live in Milwaukee, which is chill. And it ain't nothing to do out here. So that was perfect for me. And uh, just grind, man. Man. I, I, win a championship. That's yeah, the number one thing. Win and a win the championship. 100%. Uh, I think, you know, I don't think people realize how, how, how of a hidden gem Milwaukee is. You know, just a place to, to work and... And the grind and, you know, people are working every day. You see them snow, no snow, yeah. fog, no fog, bad weather, no bad weather. Like just, you know, constantly work. Yeah. Um, but okay, you 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 make the decision. Did, did you, did you play, uh, did any of the thing came in place that, okay, when you make a decision like this, you feel like uh, I've been, I, I wanted, so basically the number one thing is you want to contend. You right. want to be in a right. contending team, right? right? Yeah. And then, after that, do you see, do you tell yourself like, listen, this is a, this is a place for me to grow. This is a place for me to flourish and and blossom your game. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I do. I wanted to grow my game. Um, you know, last season with the Lakers, I didn't get to finish the season how I wanted to. Um, you know, you know how the business goes. If players are playing better and you're not performing, and uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying, you you gotta uh work with that and. Um, I wanted to make sure that I could show that I can be a playoff team, playoff playoff, playoff player. Yes. And um just I'm a I'm a great shooter. 
but also I'm a great teammate, man. I, I want to bring, I want to bring atmosphere to energy, love, and all that type of stuff. And I feel like I was needed on here on this team. Oh yeah, you definitely a great team. Like I, you know, I I met you in training camp. I didn't you know know what to expect, but just from your hard work, your work ethic, uh, your spirit in general, man, just the the camaraderie, yeah, you know, and yes, everything. Sir. Like, and you kind of understood what what kind of where kind of space we right. was as well. Right. So. I was great. Like I just felt like it was a perfect fit for me, man. Yes. It was a perfect fit for me. Uh basketball wise, family wise, and just, you know, for me. For me. Yes. Yes. Ah, so now when it comes to the, the game wise, man, you sh- hot, scorching hot. Scor- scorching hot. And yes, sir. <laughs> and I uh, studied. I studied, you know, um sorry to cut you off. No, 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 you don't. I studied Ben Forbes, uh Grayson Allen. Um uh there's a couple more shooters that's been mm-hmm. here and has succeeded. Uh um uh, Devin Shindo. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I studied the Shout team. Shout out to all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all those guys. Shout out to the Grace and Island, my guy, my my crypto uh, investor <laughs> buddy. That's my guy. That's the hundred percent. And um, and everybody, and Brie Forbes, man. Shout out to those guys. You know, just being be able to like really hone succeed. in and yeah, succeed. succeed. So that's what I wanted to do, and um, you know, I'm trying to take it to another level, win a championship with that, and uh, show the world that I am I'm here. Yes. Beasley is here. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I've had a lot of stuff going on, whatever that may be, but I'm here right now and I'm locked in. I'm ready to go. Locked in. I like that. I love that. Man, locked in. The uh so when you when you when you studied them, what, what did you what would you what was the first thing you were seeing? Was it the system? Was it the I was placement? looking at the I was looking at the system, how they were being used and and why they were successful. And, you know, I had to uh usually I, I learned how to be a screener with Joker, but I didn't really do it much because Jamal was in that position. Yes. Um, so when I got here, I had to and learn. By the way, how to... he says Joker for the audience. He's he, he talking about Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic. <laughs> That's a bad boy right there, too, by the way. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to um, read the system and learn from it and then learn how to use screens, slip out. And that's why I use Pat Cunningham for it now. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Pat. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just overall, man, I just wanted to be great. That's all. It's so, okay. This is your first time being friends. But then, you, but then you've been traded from a lot of teams. Mm-hmm. You've been traded from... And and especially, you know, this is the thing that I don't think uh, the fans get, you guys get. Like, when you get when you get traded from team to team, that doesn't necessarily mean that, oh my God, he doesn't fit here. It doesn't it actually means that you're valuable, that people... Teams want you. Teams want you. Teams want you. You know, I, and I know B's agree because, you know, to the casual fan, like, he doesn't really understand. It's like, oh, he's yeah. trade, getting traded. Get, no, teams want him and yeah. his contract, the way he's it's built, it's valuable for teams. Yes. Yes. Um, now, would you say, like, what was the feeling like after the first trade? Mm-hmm. What was the uh, feeling like? My first trade, I'll never forget. It was after a game in Denver. We were in the locker room and we had a back-to-back. Um, so, you know, when you're home, you usually, everybody rides the plane after yeah. if it's a back-to-back. And they told me and Jared Vanderbilt to hang out. And uh, we knew right then that it was it was going to be... What do you mean hang out? What do you mean? What do you mean hang out? Uh, oh, stay, at, back? stay Stay back. So we, we couldn't, they didn't want us to go on the plane because uh, they knew something's about to go down and it went down. And that's when we got traded to Minnesota. So a fun fact, uh, me and Jared Vanderbilt have been playing together since this year. And I've been in the league for eight years and he's been in for seven. So we've been traded together from Utah to Minnesota to L.A. Oh, you're like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's I was my about boy. to say, you like uh, uh, trading buddies. Like you're buddies. Trading buddies. <laughs> our our, our Contracts mag perfectly for for a, a yeah, great player. Okay, so yeah, um, and you guys are valuable to any team. You guys, we're valuable, yeah. offense, defense. Yeah, you got it right there. Um, so so yeah, man. Just when that first happened, man, I was like, dang, man, it's a bittersweet moment. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been here for three years already, and now I'm leaving. And then um, like, damn, did it? Do they not want me? But no, it's not that. They, you know, they might have a better fit for somebody else. You know, um, a puzzle piece might fit better than yeah. mine did. And, uh, you know, I, I, that's when I went to Minnesota and I got my contract. So it worked out for the best of us, you know. And, then, uh, and, and now and then, I'm here. Yeah, it did. <laughs> no, it did. But sometimes I think with the trades, people don't understand. Like some guys will get traded, which the team loves. Right. But at the same time, they get uh, like uh, somebody... And a caliber, crazy right. caliber, yeah. or something that is like really they really need something they need specific. At, at, the, at the time, and then that's why you see players come right back right. after like two years or I've a year. Seen you know what I'm definitely been a part of that. So, I think Minnesota, you signed a great contract. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I can only imagine how you feel. You're like, Ooh. man, I'm I'm 
60 million, man, that's <laughs> my family good. <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm living life, man. Yeah. And uh, and then, okay. And then you get traded again yeah. from, what, when was this? This next year? Uh, the same year? So it was about two and a half years two, later. Yeah, yeah. I went to Utah. And, um, you know. Hey, was that for the? Was that in the trade for uh, Rudy? That was the Rudy Gerber trade. So I was a part of that trade. You got traded for the best player of the year. So it is. Uh... It happens. So uh, I was a part of that trade. And honestly, uh, Utah is very underrated as a city. Um, it's great food, great people. Um, and, you know, we were number one in the West uh, the first 20, uh, 15 games. Yes. And then uh, we were doing too good. And then so, you know, it was supposed <laughs> to be a rebuilding year. And we, uh, so we, a lot of things changed. And then I went to uh, the Lakers. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, that's Showtime over there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you say it's that Showtime that's over there. Showtime shout out to there. uh Ham, man. Yeah, this shout guy, out to he, Beham, he, man. He, man, this guy was here with us. And we were, you know, we, we, we won a championship at Skyler as well. Mm-hmm. And then he ended yeah. up going to, to, to the Lakers, you know, try to build their culture yeah. and what they're doing as yeah. well. So it's good. Some good, it's some good stuff. Now, when you get traded, you got traded to LA, what was the feeling then? Was it different? The feeling then was like, it's kind of like getting traded to Atlanta, my hometown. It was like, damn, I'm going home. Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Okay. I don't know how locked in I'm going to be due to the media, the my past life, and things like that. And um, my main focus wasn't exactly like, let's kill, let's focus, let's win a championship when I was there, yeah. how it is now. And, um, you know, was that, from, was that because of outside factors or was that because mostly this, it was just, it was you being nervous about like, okay, now nah, I gotta, was, it was, it was strictly due to outside factors. And, um, uh, for those who don't know, you know, I, I played with a teammate who I, you know, talked to and, uh, uh, that was tough. It was tough to go through that. Um, but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, no, I get, I get what you mean. Yeah. Uh, whoever picks on it, picks on it. Whoever doesn't. We're not, we're not going to dissect not gonna this, di- di- dissect this on, on this podcast, but whoever picks on it, pick, <laughs> whoever understands, you know, understands. You know. so, yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, I regret that for my family. Um, not, not the situation being in L.A. I regret what I did in the past, you know, losing my family. You know, I got them back, thankfully, but... Um, just not being as locked in as I should be, and yeah, I mean, people make mistakes. People make mistakes, you, you know. I'm, I'm human, you know. And you, and, start, you and have it, such a kind heart. I don't, I don't think, and this is the thing, I don't think people realize like about like people who do sports or the NBA in general. Like, bro, we're human. They're just like you, we're human. It's just like you. if you having a bad day. Except my name is on Google, and some and that, people's name not, not, that, not as much. That that that's the only difference. Like seriously, but um. It's good to just understand you have a, yeah. you know, emotional maturity to do this. You got to understand, like, how old are you now? I'm 27 years 27. old. 27. You were like 24. 24, 23. 23. Like, Sign a big contract. Bro, come on, man. Come on, man. You've had, uh, I've had the other guys who've done way, 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 way. I know. Worse. And, and, the, and the good thing always that you're, uh, you have such a kind heart and such a good energy to what you deposit so much to the, to right. the, to the universe. Yeah. To the bank of the universe that it should come back, it's come right back, back. and it's come back. It's, yeah, it's it's slowly progression. You know, yeah. uh, you know, me and my wife are doing way better. Um, my kids are happy, um, and I'm doing well, man. I'm having the best season of my career, and I think it's because of how yes. focused I am off yes. the court and how focused I am on the court. So, it shows. It's showing. <laughs> My God. Now that you said Hollywood and Showtime, uh, I know you got some <laughs> actors in your family. Yes. They we haven't talked about, but, you know, I'm asking you as a So who's an actor? Who's it? Like, so my grandpa is the OG of the family. R.I.P. Grandpa, I love you. Uh, yes. He passed away this past year. Um, he's the OG. He's been in Rudy, Walking Tall. Uh, the Walking gr- Tall with The Rock? Walking Tall. Shout yeah. out to The Rock. I got the A. Can somebody give me a, can you can you come to this podcast and just give me a sound bite? Hey, The Rock, if you hear this, I'll come on with you. That's my grandpa. You owe me one. He was, so my grandpa was his dad in the movie. Really? Yeah, the light skinned bald head guy. That's my grandpa. So uh yeah, he's the OG of the family. And then my dad has been in um Two Guns, Flight. He's been Medea's back. Was, was, was that two guns with uh, Denzel and uh Mar- So Denzel's family. So when I played in LA, he he got court side seats. I would get to hang out with him after every game. So hey, that was, man, you got I had a little bit really of pool. I had a little bit of pool right there. 
And then uh, for those who don't know, I had like a little couple acting gigs. You know, I'm in uh, Medea's family reunion in the cookout in the back. You know, you I'm, a, I'm an extra, but uh, I had a but Delta still. commercial and then a couple okay. other things. Okay, okay. You, you're out there, man. You're in the hollow. Let, me, I'm all right, let me know how it works, man. Let me know how this is. I'll let you know. You, you definitely should be getting there soon, my boy. <laughs> definitely. Man. Okay, so now, and it was that, was that ever hard with for you, like coming from a actually family who they act like, yeah, man, I I felt maybe the, I mean was it? And I don't want to I want to lose your. Were you maybe supposed to be an actor and not a hooper? No, or? I was supposed to be a hooper. Okay, okay, okay. So my dad played professional basketball overseas for Dominican Republic, Chile, okay. Argentina. Um, oh, so so, he knew so pa, pa was, was yeah, was he it? knew the game. He okay. knew the game. He didn't make it to the NBA, so he was like, my son's going to the NBA. Okay. So I got a little bit of extra stuff as in workouts and learning from him and things like that. And look where I am at. Dad, I love you, man. Shout out to you, mom, too. That I know you watch. Um, so, yeah. I see them almost every other game, man. That's crazy. My mom? Man. Yes, yes. You know, that's crazy. Definitely. My, a lot of people say they see my parents all the time. They just love the game. You know, they love me, of course, but they love the basketball. game. They love basketball. So, like, tomorrow, if the Hawks are playing Golden State, <laughs> baby, can I get tickets? To I got you, mama. I know you love the game. I know you love Steph. <laughs> blah, yeah, yeah. She got selfies with every superstar. I'm talking about <laughs> Dane, <laughs> Thanasis, is you, uh, fucking, uh, <laughs> everybody you can think of, you know. And now uh, she's a uh, shout out to you, mom. I'm shouting you out. Uh, she has a mom's, NBA mom's show coming out in, uh, next year. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's got Kevin Durant's mom, um, um, uh, Spencer Dinwiddie's, uh, oh, was, a, few, was, a few guys' mm. moms. So, uh, that's super nice. That's she's super a producer, tough. So she's, uh, it's going to be lit. Okay, which, be lit. Which, which platform is this coming in? You, you know, you, you know uh, she's working with HBO Max and then, uh, I think one more other uh, channel, but I'm not sure yet. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. The, the definitely watch, the, definitely watch you this. You definitely watch that, man. <laughs> Mother's is this hilarious. Oh, my God. I can only imagine. I can only imagine. It's okay. So they supported you the whole way. Yeah. You stopped playing basketball. When do you, when did you realize, like, oh, shoot, I, I'm I'm actually... I'm here. Yeah. What do you, when was it like? Was it your first year? Was it before the NBA? Was it like... um. You know, you parents, have a specific game, but yeah. like, what was the moment that you said? Your like, parents always, you know, parents, you're going to make it to the NBA. You're going to make it to the NBA. But I didn't believe that right away until my sophomore summer going into my junior year. I was watching Michael Jordan. I was like, I'm, I'm going to make it. And ever since then, instead of waking, instead of my dad yeah. waking me up at 6 a.m., I started waking him up at 6 a.m. Like, it's time to go. He'd be like, Really? Like, yeah, it's time to get to it. It's time to go. We gotta get this work in before school. Before school. So I'm huh? getting work in before school. And then I realized like midway through my Florida State season, you know, everybody was hyped up on um the players that we had there. And I was just that guy. Yeah. Could possibly make it. Yes. But I I put in the work and it showed. And I started making, you know, Terrence Mann. Yeah. Um yep. mm -hmm. Terrence Mann, Dwayne Bacon. Um Dwayne Bacon else? Hooper. Uh, Shout out. He played in my former team in yeah. Bacon Greece as well. Yeah. Bro, this guy Hooper. was like, who? Oh Hooper, my God. man. Um, so, yeah, I played with a lot of great guys. And and I had one game where I had zero points at halftime. And um, it was against Syracuse. I'll never forget. And uh, my grandpa came down from Omaha, Nebraska. He's he, he looked at me in the stands and was like, I ain't come down here all the way. Nothing. You a beast. Let's go. And so that hit. That hit hard. You know what I mean? So I get back at halftime. I had 20 points to finish the game. Second, You know it's only two halves. Yeah. Had 20 points, and then we won the game, and he was like, that's the Beasley I know. <laughs> and ever since then, I, I knew I could be special. You know what I mean? Because, you know, Syracuse during that time, they, they was one of the top teams. Top teams, huh? So. Man, so. man that's a great story. That's a great story to have. To, to just, you know, not only to have to, to live through, and be able to tell your kids as well because Experience. you know, like, yeah, because every generation is different, yeah, you know, and 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 you're gonna be one of those guys who are lucky that your kids will know, you know, your mom more and more, and their kids will know your mom because through the shows, through right. the pictures, through the right. videos, you know, right. not everybody gets to to to, to do this, that. you know, you know, I'm, I already know, man. No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I, I want to ask like ten questions I at, the same, <laughs> at, at, the, at at one time, but okay. So now, what was so? You play basketball. You do all these things. Let's go like off the court. What was the what was the thing? What's next for you? What what what's 
who who do you see yourself in the next? Who do I see myself in the future? Yeah, in the future, yeah. In the future, I see myself as a as a great father, you know, um, great husband. Yeah. But also for myself, stability for my kids' kids. I think for me, it's always been hard to see the future. I've always, um, from my past years, I've been more for myself. And when I had my daughter, everything changed. You know, everything changed for me. I felt that if life is different. You know, I, I wanted to make sure she was happy. I wanted to make sure she was good. And then obviously my son and wife originally, you know, I want to be good for them, but I didn't focus as much as on it. I just signed 60 million. I'm trying to buy cars. I'm trying to buy houses. I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get active. But, but the reaction, now, okay, now that you said that, what was your biggest purchase? My biggest purchase was uh, my Malibu land in, uh, in Malibu. I got land Damn. for about uh, 3.2 million. So I'm trying. I don't know that you. That, uh, I don't know you finish. <laughs> really. Are you gonna build it? Or are you gonna fill it, sell it? What you? What you thinking about? I'm finishing up. I'm still finishing up because I changed a few things to it. You know, the permits out in Cali are crazy. Shout out to Cali, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying might, to. Hey, we might have some buyers in the podcast now. We might have some buyers. Hey, they want to. Hey, don't, don't ask for a, for an armor leg though. Like, do we have hit, some? Buyers? Hit me up, my guy. <laughs> Uh, but no, I just want to be great, man. I want to um, have a nice portfolio. You know, uh, shout out to the Nasses and his brother. <laughs> I'm actually uh, working on um, being in this this group of guys who you know help invest and you know he's been a, he's been you know, great, man, we you know they don't. They don't I just got to shout them out. Yeah, yeah, they, I they, know they, they ain't for they, all they, that. They don't. They don't yeah, really know uh, behind when it comes the to business, scenes. but um, behind the scenes, I'm just hey. thankful for that. I mean, we're here. I think I think the most important thing about when it comes to business as well that it, it is really competitive out there. But you know what I hate, uh, and I really like when I say this, and I, I can't like I get yeah. goosebumps. I it, you guys have a word for it. It's called gate, gate, gatekeeping, or yep. gate, you guys have the guys who will come in and say like, "Hey, I want to invest there," and they're like, "Ah, yeah, you know what?" Mm. Like, no, but when people call me yeah. and they say, "Hey, guys, I know you guys are you you guys did this, or you guys are investing in the new in the water, or you're doing." I immediately say, I got you, bro. What you need? Yeah. All right. Well, what you need, bro? I got you. Right. Because yeah. because that matters more in, in to, to anybody because what is the difference yeah. that you making this? Like, it, it's, there is no difference. There's, there's no. There is no difference because uh, me, think about how the circle of life works, right? right. It's, it's a system. So let's say, let's say you make money, right? Yeah. And then you come and you order pizza today. We go when we order pizza right now. And the and the guy walks in and he goes like, "Hey, here's your pizza," and I don't tip him. Right? How is he gonna come watch our games he's for not. us to get paid for the stadium to make money? He's not. He's not. My bad. So how 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 is the how are we gonna have this great like circle of everybody right. you know working? The system right. doesn't work that way. It, it if if, so, if somebody cuts the chain every time. The, the whole, it's turned to pieces. It does. So that's how you know, like, if, the, if my pizza, this guy, or anything, like, I gotta, I gotta tip him. Yeah, I gotta get a little people. Yes. The little how, things, man. How can I not tip this guy who's gonna walk, come watch us play? Right. And pay $100 a ticket. Right. Come right. watch us play. Right. Or during the summer, fly with his kids and come to New York and watch an event of yours or, or your new, or your shoe launch yeah. or anything. By the way, I want to talk about your shoe. <laughs> By the way, because nobody knows. But, Bro, you, you know, people don't know that you really going to have your own shoe. Yes. It's coming out this year. Uh, it's called the Beasley Ones, if you've seen them on my feet. Uh, I signed with x uh a year ago. And the reason being is um, I felt that I can go my own direction. Um, I get to go to China every year, uh, go in that market. And then also, I got my first shoe already. So yes. it's, it's, it's a blessing. And I'm, I'm very thankful for x and uh, what they've done for me. Yes, I, and, and they're called the bees ones. The bees ones. Bees. Are you? What's your logo? Like a bee? Is your, uh, no. Nah, <laughs> is it a bee? It's wings with uh, my MB five. You know, okay. Fly MB five. Like just fly. Be great. Do what what's, you do. What, what's your input on the shoe? Do you have a, like how much like creativity do you have? Like do you? Do I something? had to put the logo on it and the bz five on it, and then whatever designs they wanted to do, I let them. I let them handle. You let them rock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, you have the, the, are you? Are you? Are we waiting for the bees? The, the second bees after no, this. we're waiting for these because I'm going to have certain shoes. Like, I'm learning from you. Like, you got to have 
the high tiers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so we're, we're still trying to figure that out and, and go from there. But um, I'm excited, man. You know, I have my own shoe. You know, I'm just a kid from Alpharetta, Georgia, man. And uh, I know people look up to me. And uh, real quick, I wanted to, to switch it on you. What? Would you, what I wanted to ask okay. you a question, man. I want to see, like, Anything. how do you, I want you to tell the world how hard it is, but how disciplined you have to be to be in the position you're in, not playing and being a big brother, to mm. be honest. And like, you know, because I've been there before. I've been not playing. And like, I see you every day have the same energy, <laughs> the same positive vibes. <laughs> like, for real, you're amazing, bro. Like, oh I need people to know that. I'm putting it on you. I'm sorry, you guys can't see the 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 visual. If you're only on audio, you can't see me blush. He's making me... uh Bless, Yo, that, man. That, sh- that I, shit ain't easy, man. It, and I need to know because that can lead to other things in life. Yeah. So, the, so, the, so the best advice I can uh, give you is that first of all, it's not easy. It's not like anybody said. Like I always, I don't have bad days. It ain't easy. I I do have bad days, but the bad days are first of all, it's not the team. Right. It's not the goal. It's not. It's I can't go and blame anybody. Right. So that first of all eliminates the. The whole like blame demeanor, somebody. yeah. Blame the guilt trip of like, oh, blame and his fault and his fault and half fault and my fault. It is what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. Now, the other thing about you know being, uh, yeah, a big brother to Yans or being big brother to my other brothers, right. and everybody has always have this comparison. I would say is that I would never want it no other way. Right. Right. Because yeah. yeah. I'm okay with being me. This yeah. is the thing. Like anybody that being around me yeah. and everybody's who like sometimes you know they 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 will post like these low lights but right. I, I, I am I you don't understand I'm crying I'm laughing you don't, <laughs> you don't understand because in my head I'm like oh my god you've never watched the game right now if you go and you like uh, you like okay let me think let me check out this guy go to yeah. my profile do you know how many fans I've had like you know how many people be like this, uh, this guy is actually cool as hell. So, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, what? So, so, what happens then? So, what happens then? This man then? has the brains <laughs> and the eyes of the family. No, no, no. no, 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 no don't do that. But what I, what, why, why I say that? I say that because nowadays, people I just want to look cool. Yeah. They just want to be great all the time. They're scared of bloopers. They're scared of being goofy. They're scared of... Uh, mishaps, they're scared of yeah. anything. So yeah. I'm like, bro, I'm the total opposite. I don't care. It's all right. part of the of the game. Now, if they decided to post whatever they want to post because it's entertainment, you right. know, understand? Like, yeah. and it's not by, it, this is by design. Right. You, you know like, that. The, the, it's not by any chance, like in the last, like, two months, you'll be, you be seeing clips of me here, there, there. Yeah. Bro, it's by design. They, they know it sells, so they, they rock with it. They rock now, with it. what they don't understand, what I would say that they, they don't understand is that you know, they they it was coming in a similar situation that they, they like they've tried to do that to a lot of players. Right. To you know, they Javel McGee. Yeah. I remember it was a point in Javel McGee. They were like trying to like push out a narrative Funny, that yeah. this guy is not one of them guys, bro. Exactly. Three, three times a little bit a little bit like three, bro, come on, bro. We're talking about like this guy is uh, one of the best in the league. For sure. And yeah. not posting his dunks or running down. Yeah. Like he he And posting he, all the bad stuff. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I wanted to mention that because that happens to me. That happens to guys. You know what I'm saying? That happens to everybody. So, like, thank you for explaining that and letting people know that it ain't easy. But, you know what I'm saying? If you control what you can control, you can do what you want to do. Yeah. And and one, th- one, one other thing is, is, bro, imagine you being... It would be arrogant for me to think that I'm above criticism. Right. It would be... It would be semi... Yeah, because I would be like... But why? All right. Bro, who All right. who do you think I am yeah. to not get criticized? <laughs> to not get, you know, to right. not people not right. so like, no, I'm bro, just a uh, kid. Human. Just like you. Human. Yes. But the story that gets me, you know, and I always say, I would say, is that you know, with internet and all these things, is is the difference because you know, when you up close you have right. empathy for right. people. So let's say I'm sitting across somebody and he goes like, Hey, yeah. oh my god. Uh, you brother suck, you suck, and this and raw and all these other things. And and, uh, and I've heard words like, "Oh my God, look at this Hooper, he's right. sad." Or like, "Look at this." Yeah. Uh, shout out to what's name uh, Club uh, Podcast Twenty. This yeah. uh, this other guy who said, "Oh my God, uh, he and my daughter." Because there was a, there was a video of yeah. it was me, 
And you know, Jeff Teague is my guy, right. and the other guy, yeah. like they know me, bro. Yeah. So they know what I'm doing. But yeah. there was another guy who said, like, oh my God, you know, he's uh he's not a good hooper, and so many right. other guys. And he said, I said, okay. Imagine this. Imagine him really, really having a tough life and get it out the mud. Uh. That's your, what you guys say, right? right? Really get it out get the, the mud. mud. And move to another country. And then he have sons and kids. And those kids become some a symbol, not to just hoopers, become a symbol. Some, symbol. Something so great that people are actually following them, not because they hoop. <laughs> but if you go on my Instagram, they don't follow me because I hoop. Right. Because I give them the, the positive energy, the motivation. Yeah. And then imagine of those kids being able to do all of these things they do, all of them win a championship. Right. Not, bro, I don't care what nobody says. Right. I will put my jacket on and I, and I, and I rock it. I see that banner, I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm part of that banner. Same thing with Costas, same thing with Giannis, right? And then telling somebody, somebody comes in somewhere in, somewhere in the world, part of the world, and tells, that kid, right. your son or your kids, oh my God, look at him. He's sad. Hell no. Look at me. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are you joking? Whoa, are you man. joking? No. Are you joking? So this is the thing. Like, I don't think there's enough empathy it's for, pe for, who, for people social who... social media nowadays, man. Yeah, yeah, but it could be social media. It could be not social media. It, 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 it is what it is. But what I would say is that, bro, keep, it's okay to be you and it's keep being okay. you. And the only reason the, the mistake happens when you believe what they say. Exactly. Like, exactly. But, like, but enough about that. Let's, let's, go, let's go back to you. Yes, sir. And uh, who is Malik Beasley? Who is Malik Beasley? Do you have any pet peeves? Like, who is the, who's Bees? My pet peeve is... Man, I, I'm, I'm a happy guy, bro. <laughs> It'd be little stuff like... Uh, my son yelling. You know he yells. <laughs> that, that's not a pet peeve, though. I don't really have any pet peeves right so now. Like, like to me, example, pet peeve is like, because I'm very, as a person, I'm very yeah. dependable. Like, right. you, you ask, like, you know you can depend yeah. on me. Like, yeah. you, seriously, yeah. if, I, if I'm available, like, you can depend on me. So, or like, you know, somebody says like, oh, yeah, I was going to do this. And then, you know, I call them one time, two times, right. three times. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. But it's for silly reasons. It's yeah. not like, like if I don't show up, that means it's something catastrophic that happened. Like right. something is something right, right. for me right. not to show up like a lot yeah. multiple times, yeah. you know. But uh, for other people, like it's like you know people walking slow drivers. Like yeah. it's just I can't it's just, I can't do that. <laughs> I hate slow drivers. Can't do that. Um, <laughs> people yelling for no reason. That like if we're at a restaurant, like come on man, like be respectful. Um, okay. But who is Malik Beasley, man? I'm a goofy man. I like to have fun. I like to be the spirit of the team or the spirit of the room. Um, you going to know I'm there. I'm always smiling. Um, so, I like to um, I like to pr promote radiate love. You know, yeah. One of my wife's favorite saying is to radiate love, and I agree upon that a lot. Like I, I want to... I want the world to know that we're all in this together. Uh, black, white, Mexican. Like, it don't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want everything to be together like and it can happen instead of everybody coming at us and doing this because we didn't get a damn parlay man get out of here <laughs> <laughs> uh but no man that's oh that's me God. bro I, I like to uh play oh video games i like to I golf don't, i don't think they realize that we're actually we actually play basketball like i think i think those are the people who you know so parlay i yeah. think parlay means the betting stuff betting then, part right? that, yeah. yeah so i think they're the closest people who think like we we're normal humans because yeah. they be they they you see like messages online like hey man just tell your brother you gotta I'm like bro Yo, what are you talking about come on man how is that even normal it's like how me coming to that? the job like hey man just don't come in at nine o'clock make sure he comes don't at 10 come at nine o'clock and don't print <laughs> don't print Tony papers bro. Like, come on bro how are you gonna do that to us yes and and not not only that I think that ain't my fault you bet the money. And oh. you never know. You can still have a good game and still not get to parlay. Or Giannis <laughs> might have 50. Bro, what, what is, other point is going I'm on? I'm telling you, <laughs> and it's growing so much, like, with... Uh, it's bad. It's bad. It's honestly it's bad. bad. <laughs> and, and don't get me wrong, there's people who, uh, I think, is it called... But this is not, it's not basketball. It's like professional. They don't have professional yeah, poker yeah, players. Yeah. Do they do the same with, with sports as well? Like professional betters or something like that? 
I just know there's sports betting and then there's actual like poker tournaments, things like yeah, that. Yeah, so I, I don't really know how, how, how it works. But let's say example, yeah. there's companies out right. there, you know, and they, yeah. and they promote stuff and they, yeah. which is which is great. Which, you know, give the opportunity for people to win and, you know, and kind of whatever. Yeah. But at the same time, like how many times, like what's the percentage of winning and losing? <laughs> there you have it. What's the, what's the, what's the, we'll, we'll leave that at that. <laughs> yeah, what's the percentage of winning and losing? So... <laughs> So that's it. So wait. So now we come to we're coming to uh, a nice. Uh, I'm gonna give you some facts. Be honest. Let me know. Be honest if you know uh, them, right? Uh, Let me know. Okay. So, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what a group of flamingo is called? A group of flamingos is called. Yeah. <laughs> Just guess. Just take it. Uh, if you don't know, get take a guess. Flamingos. No. I know that was the obvious, uh, <laughs> the obvious one. No, what is it? It's actually called. <laughs> no, I'm gonna give another chance. Hold up, before I see it. Hold on. A group of flamingos. Yeah. Migos. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Like, can we start that clip? Can we put that on? I mean, that's <laughs> going. That's definitely going viral. Uh, no, it's actually called the uh, flamboyance. Flamboyance. Yeah. Oh, you know my. you heard the word before? Yeah. Flamboyance. Yeah, yeah. It's called actually. So a group of flamingos are called flamboyance. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's something you put me on with. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, wait. So, come on. Okay. That's one zero. <laughs> one zero. So, that's just bees. Okay. Let me give you another one. Did you know that uh, kangaroos can't walk backwards? They can. They can. Not. Cannot. They can't. They can't. They can't. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I didn't, to to, I didn't know can. that. They can't. Where are you getting this from? Hey, it's my <laughs> sources, man. And please, people online and internet, I know you guys are going to be the first people to quick go flip and fact check. Please fact check this and let me know. Fact they, check that. Let yeah, me know. Yeah, because it's, I think it's because of their feet. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I don't know the exactly the science behind yeah. it, but they can't. They just can't, you know, like. Go backwards. <laughs> like, my God, they can't. They can't. Jump, though. They can jump. <laughs> they can jump. But apparently, they can punch. Or like, uh, yeah. yeah, they can't walk backwards. You seen Kangaroo Jack? No. You seen Kangaroo Jack? I write this down. I know. Is it? What, what is it? Man, is it I ain't seen Kangaroo Jack. Man, this get this, is, man. This, this is why I started this podcast. This is American bro. history. <laughs> history right here. Kangaroo Jack. You need to check that out, man. Just write this down. And then go watch School of Rock after that. <laughs> Say again. School of Rock. School of Rock. I got it's you. the same actor. It's like go hand in hand together. Okay. <laughs> Watch and give you my, my my two cents on it. You know, now, now we were talking about groups. What is the group of owls called? Where are you getting this <laughs> from, man? A group of owls. Yeah. I have no idea, T. It's, uh, don't give me, give me a guess. Give me anything. A group of owls. owls yeah. Owls. Do not say OBO. No, I ain't <laughs> Did I say OVO? That's Drake. Of, that's Drake's yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, the, the crap. Uh, a group of owls. Ooze? Huh? Ooze. <laughs> owls and ooze? No, no, they actually, so a group of owls is actually called uh, Parliament. Parliament? Yes. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I, I ain't know that. It's not, uh, not, I, not even close. Listen, even my close. favorite subject in, in school was math. So I... I Anything okay. literature and all that, whatever this is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But keep asking me because I, I, got think, you, I, got, I, got I think I got some for you. Though. Yeah, I think I got a few answers. Okay. I'm going to you one last one before we move on and we, you know, what we're doing. Uh, first of all, do you eat pork? Do you eat pork or steak? I do eat was... pork, yes. I do. Okay, did you know, right, that pigs are like a highly intelligent animals mm -hmm. and in some cognitive like tests and stuff like that, they're better than dogs. Smarter than dogs? Smarter than dogs, yes. Really? I, I, I'm I, not surprised by that. Now, if I said it to anybody else, it would be like, yeah, but they just look so... Now, they, they look like that, but you can't judge a book by its cover. Thank you. That's all I, that's all I wanted to hear. You can't judge a book by <laughs> its cover. book by its cover. Hey, there you have it. And that's that's all folks for the animal facts, but hey, you can't judge a book by its cover. You see what you he said? You Thank you. Thank you. Can. Thank you. Um... Now I'm moving like moving on with the with the show and everything. So what's what's like what's the best thing of from Milwaukee? What's the best thing you you like about Milwaukee, man? The best thing I like about yeah. Milwaukee is that it reminds me of that city that everybody knows, like back home. Like it's like a 
uh, everybody knows everybody. You know what I'm saying? I like that. I like that. Um, we got good vibes. And then, like, team-wise, you know, it ain't much to do out here. So when we do do stuff, it's with each other. So it's like the camaraderie is off the charts. Bro. Yeah. The camaraderie yeah, is off the charts. I, I, I love it. Do you... No, I'm actually... No, that's another thing. What do you think about the pregame? That way we do. I'll pregame. That way we do. I love it. I love it. We got to get Andre <laughs> to get better. But <laughs> no, shout, out, shout out to my rook, Andre, man. man. Uh, but uh, but you and her, like I said before, your energy is amazing, bro. I, I don't know how you, you do it every night. I appreciate uh, it. But it gets me hype. I'm ready. It's you guys. It's you guys, man. We we get hype. We ready to rock. Ready to we play. To. You we know what I'm We got to throw that first yeah. punch. So. Yeah. So wait, do you have any like favorite arenas that you like to? Yeah, I got um. So I got Orlando, Portland, Utah, and um, uh, L.A. Lakers arena. Okay. So, so Lakers, obviously, you played there. So yeah. it's kind of like, okay, yeah. you, you rock. Lakers the, is about- showtime, but like Portland, Orlando, and Utah, it's a shooter's arena. So each arena is different, but, you know, as a shooter, there's depth perception, which means how f- how far is the stands behind the basket? How is ah. it straight up or is it wide? Like, you know, it's shooters' perception. Like, when you go to a high school and you shoot versus going to the arena, it's different. It's different, yeah. So, each arena is different, and I, I like those. It's, those are shooters' arena. I'm going to go off that night if we play in that <laughs> arena. <laughs> okay, so, but again, there's another question. That, like, what's your advice for, for kids who want to shoot, who want to become shooters? and uh, To stick with it. I think people try to change their shots. They try to do too much. Just stick to the basics. I, I'm... I wanted to. I don't want to be cocky, but no, I'm, just I'm an elite shooter, and every day I still do form work. I do the basic. I, I I sit by the basket and do ten makes, like just the little things, man. I would say, uh, don't just discourage. And the biggest thing I learned this year is next shot mentality. Next shot. Next one going in. If the next one ain't going in, the next, next one going, going in, and it's so far. So, uh, just keeping that mentality. Short term memory, basically. Short term memory, man. That's that's all you can do in this league. And that's man. that's in general with shooting, and that's in life, man. Short term memory, You gotta move on to the next thing. Yes, it is what yes. it is. As, as yes. we say in the league, on to the next one. On to the next one, man. <laughs> do you do you have any like pregame rituals or something like? Yeah, so uh, one of my pregame rituals is I shower before the game. People probably be like, why would you shower before? I get all the negative energy, all the the bad. Uh, but that's voodoo. how you get like all, like just the. That's how I I get fresh. Okay, okay. I, I clean myself off whatever I had going on before in the day, whether it was good or bad. It's a new slate. When I cross between those lines, it's time to go to war. Yeah. And this is the moment now, and that's where I go and reset my mind and uh, you know go through all that. So uh, I got to get a shower in before the game, and um, other than that, that's that's the main thing I need. Obviously, a good meal. Uh, have to get a nap in uh, when we're at the hotel. And then, um, you know, it goes day by day. If we have a back-to-back, it might be different. I might need to get in the boots if it's a regular game and uh, still shower and get stuff like that. So, right. yeah, man, I got, I'm got i a little superstitious on that. But, no, no, uh, you, what? You, <laughs> you, you straight, man. You say, do you, okay. But we talk so much about basketball. I want to switch it out. I'll go basketball and then last yeah, one, yeah. one or the other. Uh, do you have... What, any favorite shows and TV shows like what right do you now, like yeah what's... right now I'm in uh, this show called Lost in Space it's on Netflix okay uh, it's about literally being lost in space they uh, <laughs> uh, they travel their main purpose is to go to another planet to start a new colony and new uh, world for the for humans okay and um, on the way there they got lost and uh, it's it's an interesting story you know interesting plot plot line I like. I'm into aliens and okay. You like um, the sci-fi stuff. I and, like sci-fi okay, stuff, okay. and I like. Have you watched uh, like Ender's Game? No, I haven't seen Ender's Game yet. It's, I'm a very big on like uh, you know just my like it's yeah. So it's a it's I'm a gonna good check it out. I'm gonna Ender's check it out. Game. I do, just to pick it back, but from the from the stuff you just said, which 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 ones are your like top five TV shows? Top five TV shows. I'm just trying to see like I write stuff down. Uh, Beef is one of them. Beef. Uh, you ever heard of Beef? No. Oh, what is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's, it was on Netflix. It was hot this summer. Uh, I binge watched that in like a week. Um, beef, was good. Uh, <laughs> beef was good. Beef was good. I actually, Lost in Space is one of my okay, top Lost shows. Okay, Lost in Space. Yes. Lost, top five. Um, Lupin. 
Yep, I watched that one. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lupin. Uh, yeah. Great guy, by the way. This great guy. guy. I met him on, at the All Star. Really? Hopefully, he gets, uh, I get him one time on, on the pod. Hey, shout out to my guy. Yeah, Lupin, it, he, bro. He, Fire. the way he started and the way he, what he's doing now, yeah. what he has in store, the projects are off the charts, off bro. Off the charts. Off the charts. And then uh, last would be uh, Money Heist. Money Heist. Yeah, yeah, with the professor and all that. That's my, my, my shit. You know who's, uh, uh, one of my guys. So you know Berlin? Yeah. So, like, I've had a, a guy who, he, he's from Serbia. Like, he's yeah. Dargo. And he was saying when, he sh actually shot the, my first, my brother's, so my older brother actually, that's Afrobeat. Right. I don't know if you ever heard any of his yeah. songs. Yeah. And he shot, he shot like a video with, like, with my brother. And he was like, he flew in the degrees. Yeah. And, like, that's dope. You know, yeah, that's it, dope. it was dope. I was like, bro. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to show you the, the video as well. It's so, okay. Back to basketball, I'm going, you know, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep it like, I like it. ping pong. I, like it. I love it. So back to basketball, top five shooters. Who's the, your shooter? Who's your like top five top shooters? Top five shooters. I got to throw Ray Allen in there. Okay. And hopefully I'll be his record. So that's huge for me. Uh, yes, the record is uh, five, the most games with five threes or more in a season. And I'm two games away from it. So... Um, I'm about to get a little aggressive soon uh, if I don't get it. <laughs> uh, but no, um, Ray Allen, uh, I got to say Steph Curry. Um, you That's know, man, Steph. I'm going to go with some, obviously they're not underrated, but people wouldn't say them first. Kyle Culver and J.J. Redick. Kyle Culver I actually and JJ. Uh, did um, ask J.J. Redick a bunch of stuff and he helped me out. Man, shout so, out to J.J. and yeah, the pod so, and everybody there. Yeah, so hey, sir. Tommy. Yes, My sir. guy, tell me all there. Please yeah. ditch this. Yes, sir. Uh, so shout out to JJ for that. And uh, last but not least, Mike Miller. Mike Miller. Mike man. Miller. I worked out with him one summer, and his his work was way different than anybody else's. And Mike Miller. Know, he, he was a rookie of the year. We call him White Chocolate. Man, that's White ooh, Chocolate right there. <laughs> you know, now this is this is the thing. You saw, I think my, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he has a new agency. No, no, new uh, pod. My OG movie? show, yeah, new oh, podcast. I gotta check it out. Him and and my other guy, that bro, you don't understand how much I love you, done yeah. Hoslin, bro. Yeah. And they like they get into it, like That's so. I'm, a, I'm a, and you know this my podcast. I'm, yeah. I always like I don't have the keep it know, light. Yeah, yeah, you know, like like my podcast. You know how people don't talk about other podcasts. Right. Whatever, like yeah. no, I'm to total the opposite. I always yeah. like anything I love because I take my That's audience right. and go like. That's why I'm here right now, brother. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. show love. You show love. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Man, Mike Miller, Ray Allen, Steph K. Yeah. Um, then you said Kyle Corver. Yeah. Kyle Corver. And JJ Reddy. JJ Reddy. Kyle Corver actually used to be teammates with Kyle. Like, bro, yeah. great dude, great dude. Great you, dude. But from all of them, like, I feel like, you know, Steph has... Steph and his brother, Seth, bro, they can't both shoot. Yeah, like, it's, it's crazy. Seth, it is crazy. <laughs> Seth can shoot. Uh... They've changed the game. Like, they yeah. changed, like, the they game, They changed bro. the game for sure. And brought in Trey Young, and he changed the game more. Yes. So, they just, yes. they just, it's just continued. The game has changed. It's more faster, more threes. You know what I'm saying? Um, should we play, the, we play Cleveland tomorrow, and they got the, they shoot the most threes in the league. Yes, so, yes. Uh, the game has changed, man. But, you know that, and, and we just try to adjust to it as the game changes. Because when I first came in, we was posting up. Like, that was normal. You know, with our team, it's normal for us because we got Giannis and Bobby, but, man, and, and, and came in. But uh, posting up nowadays, is, is, you barely see that. You barely see you that. Barely they see used that. to tell you, like, you got to learn how to play with your back behind the basket learn. because when you get older, that's how you're going to... Exactly. You're going to bug him down. Exactly. Hey, uh, exactly. Bug him now, down for work and play. Now all we got is pick and rolls, my boy. Oh, pick and rolls and handoffs. It, it is different. I had uh, And split actions. The, and you know who dissected this very well was Mon Shepard. He was like just dissecting like, how the game and how like this whole series between the Cavs and the Warriors and, and what did they disliked about the Warriors. And it was like, we're playing the Warriors. They think they, they, they really like whoever wins, like right. that's how basketball is going to be. Yeah. You know? And the, it was so much truth in it. Like guys coming in and all these things. And, and, and I had a podcast with Dame and Dame said, is there's three people who've been shooting from deep. Like, I, and I put, yeah. sometimes I put LeBron there too right. as well because he'd be, sometimes he'd be looking at the ball and yeah. Yeah. They shoot right. it. But then he was like, you know, he don't really leave out there like, like yeah. Dame, yeah. Trey, yeah. And Steph. Like, those, those three those guys, three bro. shoot the ball from half court. With two Consistently, minutes, like, leave out there. With seven minutes left to go in the game, 
with 24 seconds on the shot clock. They, they'll shoot that. <laughs> you know, which is, which is a, uh, I can only imagine me as a, as a, you know, my, my style is different how I plan and how I, like, look at the game. But for you, I can only imagine a shooter saying like, yeah. you know, yeah. like, it's, it's like easy. somebody saying like, oh yeah, I just saw a behind the back dunk. Or, I'm like, oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. But that's for cool. you, it's different. It's like, yeah, yeah. I just made it from. All right. <laughs> I just made it from half court, no, without ease. With ease. Without ease, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. I have another question for you, but bro, I have, I have so many, but I'm just trying to really keep it so the audience and, the, and people yeah, who are watching can kind of yeah. follow and everything. What what are some of the questions that people ask you about me? Like I, I heard, bro, it was crazy. They had some crazy some, questions. I, I, heard I gotta some. ask the, produ the production team. Hold on, I gotta get my phone. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, I, I gotta do this. Uh, did you tell Jay one of them? Yeah, I told Jay the, one of them. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to? You want to? I, I say, it, I say. Okay, it. Well, let me tell you about where I got the shimmy from. So in Utah, oh the shimmy, yeah. Tell the, but this is late. It was going to be later on. But now I want you to tell me about to tell the not me the fans, the fans. about this because they don't know what it is. So what it is was when Jay Z uh, when I was playing in Utah, Jay Z was playing in the background. That's my favorite artist, and I had to do like an ISO, yes, and step back and made it. And they called a timeout, and the music was still playing. So I was like, "Ooh, let's get it." This jiggle, and it just came. Utah loved it, and I just stuck with it, and. Uh, I got to LA, they call it the Doug Shake. And then um, <laughs> it's just the shimmy, man. We call it the Beasley shimmy. You get down with it, man. You knock down a three and it was a big three. I don't do it every three. It has to be a timeout or a big three, you know what I'm saying, to pull it out. So that's where I got it from, man. That's good. That's good because the, everybody's been burning Twitter's on yeah, I know, fire. I know, I know. Fire. And, and the crazy part is like, you know, I'm not really on, like I have the, the guys who like yeah. handle stuff. Yeah. I'm not really seeing, actively seeing it. Yeah. But for me to see it when I'm not even actually actively in, that's yeah. crazy. Everybody be doing it, bro. Yes. Who was your first guest? My first guest that I had on my podcast, yeah, was Bobby Porter's. Bobby Porter's. Bobby that's Porter's, a... bro. And I and, and I got to bring him for season two. It's just so crazy with the, with the schedule we have. You got to bring him back. And, oh my god, such a great guy. dude. What up, BP? That's a great team. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to the underdog. The Man, underdog. The underdog. Keep it real. Now, th this is the, the two questions I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to ask him that. Right. right. So this is from a, I don't want to say her name because she, she. Anonymous. Anonymous. So the one is, did he hurt when you fell from heaven? That was one. <laughs> they they just have a crush on you, but they, it's yeah. normal. I mean, you play in the NBA. Yeah. Did, did it hurt when I came from good. heaven? <laughs> did he hurt when you fell from heaven? Yeah, basically yeah. give you a, you know. Yeah. And, the, and the other question was. <laughs> Oh no, no, no! I'm not gonna say pause. I don't, I don't yeah. care. Okay, how do I learn? How do I learn how to stroke it like you, bro? Oh, <laughs> talking about the shot. God. Talking about the shot. Talking about the shot, bro. Talking about the shot. Talking about the shot. Hey man, you gotta put in <laughs> repetition. It, whether you're talking about the shot or not, you gotta put in repetition. <laughs> you gotta make sure you're ready to go. <laughs> and then we have like great questions as like you know Milwaukee and yeah. how you love Milwaukee and everything. And I love Milwaukee, man. I just um, we had an event tonight, obviously, and I met some great people, man. It's it's a lot of great people here and um, underrated, very I underrated. Um, I know people get caught in the mix of it's been in the Midwest, but I've lived in the Midwest my whole career except for LA. So um, I'm, I'm blessed to be here, man. Um, I'm getting used to the snow. Like, I, I love the snow, to be honest with you. Obviously, I need some sun. But but other than that, man, I got some good golf courses. I don't know if you okay. golf or not. But um, shout out to the golfers out here in Milwaukee. Come, you know, holla at me if you want to get a couple <laughs> swings in. Uh, so just trying to um, enjoy that and, you know, stay low-key. That's my yes. main purpose right now. Just yes. stay low-key. What is... I mean, this is two questions combined in one, but what's your office going to look like? And what's your, like, your favorite, like, vacation, like, destination? Um, but we'll my favorite, the first one. Yeah, my, uh, where I said, I say in um, Miami or L.A. in the office. Okay. Um, mostly it's probably L.A. Uh, my wife's from there. And also I just, you know, workouts, the runs is, is way better out there. Um, and then my favorite place to travel would be Maldives. That's been my favorite Maldives. trip so no, far. No, I got to be Greece now. Well, we ain't go to Greece. I'm gonna take, I'm going I'm to, take you to two summer. places. I'm, I'm going take to you to two places. I'm gonna take you to Athens, Greece. Okay. Enjoy, and then after 
two years or three years, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm depending. If you start coming consistently, degrees, I'm gonna take you to Lagos, Nigeria. Trust uh, me, I will be Trust there. Even if you're gonna have a great time, I'm Trust going me. to Greece. <laughs> Y'all hear me? I'm going. To, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> Trust me. It's 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 dope. Wait, so you said runs? Do you? I mean, like a five on five. Yeah, pickup. yeah, yeah. Oh, so. I was being interested about learning more more about the runs. You know, one of my one of my uh, close people that I, like I. I know about it was you know Chris Brickley that does yeah, the runs in, yeah. in New York and we we had a stint together in, in uh, shout out to Chris this guy has made some phenomenal strides yeah. bro phenomenal like he, I, I remember him in high school when I was in high school so yeah. uh, and then we trained a little bit together too so yeah shout out to Chris He's but a great dude bro um you know he kind of changed the game too for yes. training yes. um as in media attention bro, and he's, he's it, in two it, K it's two guys it's him yeah and lethal like yeah. those lethal two are shooter, very yeah. like. Yeah. Like they really build the brand, Definitely. and I've had Lethal here as well. Definitely had Lethal on, on the pod. Up. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, you, can I, let me ask you another question now that we said about the. I wanted to say about the kind of concert on the runs. Did you? Is it normal runs? Do you like? Is this something competitive? Do you ever get in a fight? Is it? Is it like? Uh, not fighting, but it's definitely competitive. Like I don't know if you saw that one viral video of uh, Devin Booker uh, getting double teamed and yes, and and that, uh -huh. and he's like. Yo, we're double teaming and pick up. Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, you killing right now, and this is what you're gonna see in the game. So it gets competitive, but also at the same time, everybody's trying to work on their game. Okay. Uh, whatever they worked on that summer, they're trying to uh, show that they can do that now. Like for me, mine's is more pick and roll, so I was in a lot of pick and roll this this summer. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I don't have that role right now, but when I'm in that role, I feel comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not worried about if I'm gonna turn the ball over or not because I've been putting in the work. Yes. And uh, so that's the main purpose of uh, having pickups. And then it's not like you're playing at the YMCA. You're playing against, you know, LeBron. Mm -hmm. You're playing against uh, all the guys who live out in LA yeah. in that time. So it's a dope experience, man. Man, I... Uh, so which one? So LA is the best place for runs? Uh, either LA or Miami or New York. So everywhere. They, because those cities have the best, like the, so the most... They, they have guys. the best off court life as well as in uh restaurants clubs okay. um beaches and stuff like that um so people go there to relax and you know it's yeah. it's very commutable if you're trying to go overseas obviously yeah. those cities so um when they come back in and out you know you always know that they have a run there so okay yes sir it's great I, i've always you know I, i'm gonna be telling you i was like but we gotta make a team and go just go Julie, the brothers and some you couple of guys some. yeah dude i think it was, i think uh, i think it was one of this year i don't know which year would be dope to just, just show up and like hey let's go i think i almost did it uh i, I played for the i was gonna play for the game team you know, okay for the game mm -hmm. um i was gonna play on his team um how come but, uh, just because I've known him pretty well and then also, oh, okay. uh, um, yeah, I know a lot of guy, good guys. I have yeah. one of my favorite songs, uh, Ali Boumaye. Yeah, Ali Boumaye. Hey. Yeah. Uh, so, nah, yeah. And I just wanted to be careful because, you know, those guys, it's like the G League. When you've been in the league for a while, all they know is I need to get a spot. You know what I mean? So really? like, So, like, Julie, yeah, that that's, that's physical. There's going to be some fighting. There's going to be some, you know what I'm saying? Um, not that I'm scared of that, but it's like I'm not about to risk getting injured. Oh, yeah, that's because that's, of that's what I said. That was you know what I said. I mentioned man. fighting, fighting before. Like I'm assuming I already know how how fights do we get when we get back to training camp, exactly. and it's, we trying to get we trying see. to get we trying to get that spot. Yeah, so I can only imagine when it comes to see NBA guys, and even if All you're, right. it doesn't matter who you are, you're right. in the NBA, so. They're trying to see like, hey, trying to get a spot too. Is, is he? Why is he in the NBA? And right. then they they realize like, okay, he has certain traits. Right. Right. That's why he's there, or whatever the case might be. Right. But I can only imagine like guys like trying to go by you or trying, trying to go imagine. by you. If you go up for layup, they're gonna try to foul you and not let you get the layup. I'm not getting hurt for that right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you in the playoffs, or I'll see you uh, later down the line, my boy. We ain't doing that right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's that's valid. That's that's really valid, man. You know, we've been through moments in the season. We haven't finished some moments, like right. the moments. What, what which moment would you would you say that made you feel like, man, we're a team, or like which the moment like? I always felt that we were a team from the beginning, eh? From the beginning, just hard. I, and I'm not trying to be like. I know. I just felt like that's we, what everybody says when they I come to the think, book. I couldn't think of when a certain time. I just felt like we was a team from the jump, even as training camp. Like you remember, Giannis was like, "Man, this is the easiest I've ever had to play the game of basketball." Chook, 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 chook. 
Why does it go up? Bro? I mean, he was on hey, he was on a different team. <laughs> uh, the start of the lineup, he was cooking, <laughs> yo. We was going crazy. I remember I I'll never forget this, bro. So I remember when uh, Coach Grip. Damn, how you do that with Dame and Giannis on the floor and then you got shooters all around? Yeah, so, I, so I remember like true. So we're training camp and we're playing five against five against five. So co yep. guys who play basketball understand what I'm saying. Like yep. it's we're in the middle. It's five guys are, uh, at the left side in the middle yep. and yep. The, other, the other court. So we're all playing five against five against five. And their team is a starting five, which was Bees, Chris, <laughs> Dame, Jan, and Brook Lopez. We right? were cooking. Yeah. <laughs> so they're playing against us, the, the yeah, third string and the second string, yeah. and we're mixed up kind of. Yeah. And it was like nine straight plays. Nine. Nine straight. It might have been more, but I'll just say nine, right? Uh, that they just... It just felt so fluent. Pick it and was roll, fluent and, die, and, die, die, and three, move and three. Maybe. And then we switched it up to zone. And it even got worse when we <laughs> was playing zone because then... And then they switched up, I think... Somebody else got in you guys lined up, yeah. and you had then you got Jay. Yeah. Yeah. You had Jay. Uh -huh. And then got even worse because now we're playing zone. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the ball goes one pass shot. Uh, one, two, three, boom. Uh, one, two, three, boom. So I was like, how do you, how do you, and I, 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 I think that's one of the reasons that teams don't play our zone. They, they used to play us more zone, I think, like years ago, but yeah. now they don't play our zone because so many zone. shooters that. I hope we, teams we, play zone. That's my favorite thing. I hope he plays zone because, when I'm in the no, court. Be, yeah, because now they, and not to give away any game plan, but just, right. they, it, it's harder. Let's just say it's, it's harder hard. it's with a lot of shooters. It's harder. definitely Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Let's just start giving don't, don't get, don't get don't game plan on podcast, Don't get married thing, man. Don't get married thing. You know? Yeah. But, man. Okay. But no, nah, just that dynamic of everybody just being here. Like, like we got, we got like 12. We're a good team, bro. We're starters, good. I think. <laughs> be honest, bro. Like, we got, we got, we got depth. Ooh, we're a good team, we, bro. We got a great team. I don't team. think Boma, uh, let's have, have a good team we got. But at the same time, that doesn't mean anything. You yeah, got to earn whatever you we gotta get. Earn it. No, you that gotta doesn't earn. mean anything. And I think we have a good dynamic of everything. We got vets, we got me and you, and uh -huh. then we got a young guy. Yeah, you young guys, everything. We got everything, between. bro. Do you, everything. what would you say throughout your whole career, and now, you know, I want to end the show like this, before I end the show like this, I want to say, which, which one has been your most memorable coach or teammate interaction you've had throughout your whole career? That throughout my whole career, the most memorable coach or player interaction like you've had like interaction would be Darrell Arthur. So let me tell y'all a story. He plays for uh, he's he's in the front office for Denver now, and he played with me in Denver. He played for Memphis. Okay. Great vet. Uh, look him up, Darrell Arthur. Shout out to DA. He taught me life, man. You know, I was upset that I wasn't playing. Uh -huh. I was a rookie. Um, so, and he was, as a vet, uh, helping out Joker and stuff like that. So he was still playing, but, you know what I'm saying, on the end of his career. And um, so we in three on threes, right? We're doing three on threes. You know how it goes before a game or the day before a game. The guys who aren't playing are playing three on three. And so we're going at it. It's L.A. The, the spirits are high. You know how it goes. And um, the rookies are killing it. It's me, Wancho, and like one more rookie. Um, Wancho and Herman Gomez. That's yeah, my guy. Ah, oh, Wancho. Okay. Yeah, Wancho. Shout out to Wancho and uh, Panathinaikos as well. They're doing great right now. They have, I think they're fourth in the Euroleague. Shout out to Kosos, Wancho, yeah. Jay, and my guy, Grant. None, right? Can't you know this yeah, with the team none. as well? Yeah, yes, sir. Can't you know this with the team? team? And I got my other guy, uh, Kala. I like Zakis. Yes, I'm my guy. Uh, man, this this team... Uh, it was that's, a good that's squad, a squad but uh, but nah. So it was us three. We was cooking the vets, and that yeah. that was against Mike Miller, uh, Da, and Stephen Graham. He's a um, he's a PD coach for the. Um, he played professional basketball okay. as well. Um, and we're talking mad smack. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I caught this, that, this, and that. And uh, Da was like, all right, now you better chill. You better. <laughs> I mean, it's like nine zero, and we're going eleven. I'm like, yeah, y'all ain't all that. We the young guys. All that. He was like, all right, now watch yourself. <laughs> so he comes in and sets a, a OD screen. Yeah. I hit the ground hard. I'm like, bro, what was that for? He was like, I told you to chill. Now you better respect your vets. <laughs> and then um, and then, so we ended up winning still. And then after that game, I went up to him. I was like, I'm sorry, big bro. I ain't yeah. going to do that. And he was like, you good. You just got to be respectful for the way you do things. And one thing I want to tell you, bro, 
you need this. You need to be going to the G League. You need to be doing that. Yeah. And that's why I'm proud of Marjan uh, Champ. He he Chris asked Livingston to go on his guy. own and Chris Levis and them guys to play. Marjan Bolch, I'm so proud yeah, of this man, kid, man. man. You got to play. And ever since then, that guy has been my, you know, mentor and my leader, bro. He's He's been there by my side and uh, I love him to death. So shout out to DA, man. Man, shout out to the guy. Man, and... And we end, you, and, and, yeah, and we end the show with a little bit of appreciation, man. That's how, that's 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 how you gotta do it. <laughs> and then most importantly, I'm thankful for Thanasis, man, and everybody in this family and this crew and uh, putting me on. And like I said, we you've done more to oh, me than my. just basketball and giving me um, an opportunity to speak. So uh, no. I appreciate that, dog. Oh, my bad. You know. <laughs> <laughs> That's my, I guy, got to. That's my guy right Oh, here. my God. Oh, man, thank you for, for, for coming in. Yes, sir. Thanks and for having me, man. Just, you know, having, like, they can be able to, like, just hear your voice and yeah. see what kind of person you are and see what I see, you know? Like, for sure. this is the thing. Like, see what I see and what the team sees in the city. But, man, I can't wait. I can't wait to... Shoot, I can't wait to our next game, actually. I, I'm honest with you. I can't wait to our next game. So, man, uh, guys, if you want to watch the show or you want to listen to the show... You know, you can uh, subscribe wherever you get your podcast from. It's available on every platform. And if you want to watch the visuals and the analysis podcast. And man, please, please go follow my man. Follow me back. On, on Instagram. Give me back on this show. That's how I know yeah. I did good. Give, me back, back, on give me back on next season. Yeah. <laughs> and please go on your socials. Can you tell me your socials real quick? Uh, uh, yes. Instagram. MBZ5 is on Twitter, Instagram. Just follow yeah, your boy. X, however you want to call it. Whatever, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Just follow your boy. MBZ5. And go, you know, on his next post when this part when this uh, episode comes out, you guys listen to it. Or go to his uh, post and spam him and be like, "Hey, I came here from the analysis or whatever." Please do. You know, get some love, fans, and remember, man, we love you guys. Thank you so much. And we out. And we out. He's in chicken grease. <laughs> <laughs>